It's fine, everything is fine, but it's also not. It's too much feet on the internet for one video. Hello. It's the next day. I didn't do anything yesterday because the time I got home, it was really late and I was hungry and I was tired and I was still sad about busting my mirror. I was looking through my patterns because I thought today I would try a mock-up of the cape and I thought I had just like a standard cape. All of the one patterns that I have for capes, which was this one, which I was just gonna make longer, is gathered. And then I have a medieval cloak somewhere in here too. My box of patterns. Oh, I got, grabbed the right one without looking, great. Also gathered, which I feel like the last two days have been a lesson in making sure you are prepared with your patterns before you start a project. So this has now become a uh, lesson in how to make a cape with just the measurement of your neck, hopefully. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I used one of those circle skirt calculators online to figure out my measurements for these mock-ups. Then with my bed sheet folded into quarters, I traced out the number it gave me for my neck and used my tape measure to follow that circle for a hemline. I will say, no matter what calculator I used, I always had like an extra two inches at the neck that I didn't really feel like I needed. Unsure if this is because the calculator was adding seam allowance, but I will say, even subtracting from the neckline measurement, it still felt too big. You know the feeling when it's like chilly in LA for like a week and a half and then it's not because you live in LA and it's always hot except for like the month of February and you're wondering why you wore sweatpants out before checking the weather to go walk to get your car. Good news is dude fixed my car in like a day so like shout out to Luis. Bad news is it was like 500 bucks. So that's fun. Funny story that actually was Silk there and calling me to tell me that they don't have enough of the fabric that I was gonna use for my project. So we're gonna see if they have a different charmeuse. Silk Baron's really, really cool. They've got great customer service, so I can't imagine that whatever silk they send me, I'm not gonna like, so. It is now November. 19th and you could say that the reality of the passage of time has finally kicked in i have been doing some mock-ups they are not well i thought they were going well and until they weren't i was actually gonna start making the cape today and then i had a breakdown at eight in the morning when i realized that the length of the cape if you're doing a circle cape is constrained by the length of your selvage. So you cannot be longer than 54 inches. And I am from neck to foot longer than 54 inches. So my circle cape mock-up is now no longer useful. So during lunch today, I walked back to Target, bought another set of bed sheets, and we're gonna do another mock-up tonight because basically the cape has to be done tomorrow because I have to either finish my mock-up of the pants so I know what I'm doing for the pants or make a new mock-up for the pants that actually fit this weekend so the pants are done next weekend. I don't even know if I have enough wrapping paper, which is great. <laughs> to explain what isn't properly captured on camera here, after staring for hours at photos of Billy Porter's cape as well as a few online patterns, this is the method I used for drafting this pattern. Step one. In one corner of your paper, draw out a small circle based on your neck measurements from a calculator online. Two, take that measurement from the base of your neck to the end of your shoulder and draw that in a direct line out. From the inside of your neck measurement, find the length you want your cape to be, and from there, draw a line across of what you want one quarter of the bottom hem to be. I made mine half of the selvage of my charmeuse, for 22 inches to try and maximize the width of my fabric. Then, take a line from the end of your shoulder measurement to the outside corner of your bottom hem. Lastly, take a sloper and round out that shoulder angle to something nice and soft. 
All right, another blanket destroyed, but if you please ignore my laundry that I haven't folded yet, I feel like I have finally achieved Billy Porter at the Oscars. It's a lot of cape here, and I think this is gonna work. Honestly, I feel like I can probably take, based on the neckline, about an inch off the front, maybe even two. So I could probably honestly take about half an inch off everything I cut. This is one panel on the back actually. I did this one on the fold and then these two are the side pieces. I think the shoulders actually fit really nicely so I don't really wanna f too much with the back cause I feel like it hits almost perfectly. There is a little extra on this side. So again, I think half an inch all around and I can actually, if you see here on the floor, I can take like five inches off, which is really good to hear because that means I have enough fabric. So woo! After all that was said and done, it's only like 6 p.m., which is a good sign. And I'm gonna do the thing and I'm gonna start the cape tonight, even though it means I'll probably be up till like midnight. Also, uh, not that I do plant videos anymore, but this is my pink princess and I love her very much. I got her from Mickey's and she grows very fast, even though a lot of her's not variegated, but we love her anyways. And she's in this cute little celestial pot. So fun little update there. Oh, and uh, cause this video will never come out. Here is my variegated Monstera. I got that from Fawn & Co like months ago. And again, the footage for that is filmed and we'll never see the light of day, so. <laughs> Hello, she's so cute, we love her. All right, I'm gonna cook some dinner and then iron 10 yards of fabric. Yay! I feel like it's also important to note, and it doesn't show up very well in most lights. It might show up better over here. But so the Zanzibar that I was originally going to use, they didn't have enough of, so I'm using a more green blue color. Okay, let's talk about what did not get filmed here. This moment right here, this is the mistake. This is where I cut out two pieces on the wrong side of the fabric after I said I was making a three panel cape. Completely forgot that because I was tired and I made it a four panel cape and didn't do any proper folding and forgot that Charmeuse has a wrong and a right side of a fabric. I had a full breakdown calling Silk Baron at like nine in the morning this Saturday <laughs> after good news is andrew from silk baron very kindly returned my call that day and got me more of my unnamed charmeuse in under 48 hours so i could continue this project and finish it on deadline seriously a five-star company since i want this to be an educational video let me explain how you should cut out your pattern if you want to make a similar cape fold the fabric lengthwise until you reach the necessary length of your cape then place your two pattern pieces down with the straight edge of the fabric lining up with the selvage. Then cut. You can see where that looks like here, where I was using my pre-cut charmeuse pieces to cut out my taffeta. This is also where I discovered that taffeta glides like wrapping paper when you cut it, and it's so satisfying. now begins the evening long journey of me sewing all of these 50 inch seams together. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No bleeding, don't give up. If I come out bleeding. I am full of so many regrets right now. How am I? What am I doing? <laughs> All right, we're about 20% done here. Sits nicely on the shoulders. The length is, it's too much feet on the internet for one video. It's a little long, but that's fine. It's also uneven, so we're gonna fix all of that. But um, we're like 20% of the way there. Just have to finish the lining and then sew the lining and the cape together and then put the 
the neck on. So, you know, lots to do. But 20% uh, of the way there. Last panel of the lining piece, and then we can connect them. Huh? No. Why not? This is like emotionally draining. <laughs> what would you do if I showed up to our Christmas gathering like this? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's very warm actually. It's like, it's on. I'm like, oh, suddenly I'm warm. <laughs> Press all those seams open nice and flat. I would recommend if you're going to do this project, one up me and make sure you have a tailor's ham on hand for all of those curved shoulder seams. It was then time for the tedious process of sewing the lining and outer fabric together. If I had to do this project over, I would have taken a break and waited until the next day. I think I was getting tired here and it would have been worth it to have fresh energy and made these seams a little bit nicer than I think they turned out. Okay, so the roommate's boyfriend was over, so I haven't filmed for a hot second, but there's the cape, lining, and fashion fabric put together. These are the pieces for the collar. So we have interfacing, this is a stitch and interfacing. I'm going to stitch it to this piece of fabric with a light basting stitch. Then sew these three together on three corners, one, two, three, leave this open to attach to that neckline. This is so pretty. I am very obsessed with it. No idea how to put it in, but we're gonna just do it. This is also where I'm going to start sewing with the silk thread. So I'm gonna wind up that bobbin and then we're gonna get fancy in here. All right, let's do it. I basted my inner lining and charmeuse together before sewing that together with the taffeta, attaching my fancy hook and eyes, and finished up this video with some unflattering shots of me being a little hand sewing gremlin to whip the collar into place. I truly feel like French royalty, like I'm gonna have my head cut off. But damn, if I don't look good. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this up. You will not see this reveal until the whole outfit is done though. So make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, hit the bell so you get notifications when I uh, post the other two videos of this ensemble. Video, it'll be four, which will be the stays. We'll have the full reveal. I'll see you then. Bye.